the sports talking heads make predictions, then hope you forget about how wrong they were. But not Mackie and Judd. Write this down. This is the big leagues, where we own our terrible predictions. Write that down. And keep track of each other's batting averages. It's Write That Down. Write it down. You like writing things down. With Mackie and Judd. All right. Hey, Judd, when are you going to admit that you were wrong? Hold on a second. I got to check my day planner. Oh, uh, right now. Okay, good. <laughs> Where's Don? Just go ask Don. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or Stella. Was or I wrong? Stella. Yeah. Was I wrong? Yes, you were wrong. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's right. This is this is the most transparent segment in sports here on Mackie and Judd every Wednesday and also on Purple Daily every Wednesday. It is Write That Down and an accountability session where we admit where we were wrong and also celebrate on the rare occasion where we were right with our predictions. Here's how it works. Three predictions from everybody each week. They must be quantifiable. We keep track of batting averages and home runs here on Mackie and Judd. And if you guys want to participate as guest listener predictors, like Reed is about to, he was a last minute, uh, just a last minute substitution here. He's going to come in and knock some dirt off his cleats, roll out of bed and hit some bombs. You can send either a Declan, a DM on Instagram, Declan Goff, Instagram, Twitter, I don't know, WhatsApp, Tinder, you can swipe nope. right on Dex. Nope, I don't, I don't swipe and I don't do yeah. dating apps, I didn't know but you were on you're, you're lucky to, nope, I don't do any dating <laughs> That's apps. That's great use for our show, nope. Dex, thank you for following no, no, no. for this that. E- this executive producer meets people the old-fashioned way, so no, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay. All right. humble brag. Uh, or you can send us a message <laughs> through the feedback tab on the Score North oh, app, which is a great central hub for everything we do here. At Score North, Mackie and Judd, Purple Daily, videos, podcasts, Judd's written work. So let's get to it. You guys want to admit that you were wrong? So, Judd, you've been batting over 400 for basically all year. Okay. Okay. I got bad. Oh, news. no. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. A lot of twin stuff. I've got, oh, no. I've got bad news for you, dude. Oh, no. You know what's bound to happen? <laughs> we, we, you go into, you oh, go into cold streaks. It God. happens. This is Miguel Sano in May, right here. Yep. Right? Uh, well, so you did, you did start out with a nice little shot here. You said Jose Barrios will have the lowest ERA among twin starters, uh, qualified twin starters. We're going to, I don't think he had the qualified innings with the twins because he got traded, but. But he did have the lowest ERA. Yeah. We're going to give you that one. Okay. Good job, Judd. And then things took a turn. Yeah. You said oh, the, Vi- yeah. the Vikings would sweep their home stand. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. said the Twins will make a change at hitting coach this season. Oh, they have a great hitting coach. Yeah. Which, they, which, by the way, they should have done. I'll hold the buzzer since this is just a lot of red. Let's go every three. Yeah. Every okay. three? Okay. Yeah. All right. Alex Colome will be DFA'd <laughs> by the Twins you know, this season. So far, I'm two. I'm two for three on my wrong ones. I'm not going to admit I was wrong. I'm going to say the team was wrong on these. <laughs> yeah, that's how it oh works. My God. They oh probably my God. should have. They probably should have done both those things. Uh, you said the Yankees will fire Aaron Boone during the season. There's a good chance he gets fired like today. Yeah, yeah. but it's not during the season. I thought. I thought no. he was good. Going to get uh, gassed in like June. So yeah, no. You said Jake Cave will not finish well, the season again, on the Twins roster. Dude. I was right. Teflon. Jake Cave, real quick, just for fun here, all right? Dive in Jake. The legend. Jake Cave, I haven't watched a lot of Twins baseball the last couple months. Just the look fact up that he's still in the late team night Lamont. Look up Akil Badu. Uh, Jake Cave this season, 189 with a 293 slugging percentage, still managed to play 76 games, a career high for the Minnesota Twins. Back in the day, they called that having pictures of somebody in authority. <laughs> I don't know if we still oh, use man. that one much, but that's what we used to call it. Somebody, I put out some, we'll, we'll get to these later, but I put out some damning Twins stats compared to the Red Sox and their playoffs the last 17 years. And someone responded back with like, why are you guys so cynical? Bleep you. You know what? Ray, I'm, I'm so sick of some of these teams, like the Twins and the Vikings. Like, why are you guys so hard on them? Because we just want them to be less incompetent. Well, yeah, okay? we don't want to be dumb. Yes. <laughs> It's like a chi- it's like a child that you love, but the kid's dumb. <laughs> That's not even dumb. Because cause dumb cause dumb kids still do something right, i.e. win a playoff game in 18 tries. Also, like, you I, have I, influence over your kids. Like we yeah. have less influence over no, the twins than we about, do over a kid. I'm talking about a dumb kid who you say do not hang out with Jay Cave. He cannot be your friend. He's like <laughs> he I'm going over to sleep over at Jay Cave's house. His mom and dad are smoking a lot of dope. Look, I told you not to do that. 
Yeah, Jay Cave wants to take a hit, but there's only a 189 chance that he actually uh, gets Hey-o. one. Hey, yo. Uh, all right, Jorge Alcala will lead the Twins in saves this season. Oops. You said Sano will play in 10 or more games at third this season. It's funny. He was stuck on nine for like three months. Oh. They never gave him oh, a Oh, that's a game. tough beat. That's a tough beat. And you said uh, Culver and Akogi would oh, both be gone it. when next season begins. Akogi's in the starting lineup right now, dude. Yeah, that might not be permanent, but he's he's most definitely still there. You said Arise will lead the Twins in batting average this season. Ah, you were close. Byron Buxton led the Twins in batting average. Neither of them qualified for the batting title, so either way, it's wrong. Okay. Uh, and you said the Wolves will not get a top three pick in the draft, which was right. But then you said Gerson Rosas will be fired after I said that the 2021-22 when the season. When hell did I predict Gerson Rosas would be? Hold on a second. When did I predict? I, I'm not Uh-oh. doubting you. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm sure it's right. I just I can't believe Hold I called. Me. I can't believe I called that. This is what happens. Someone who's batting 400 just can't envision the 0 for 10 slump that he's sliding Hold into. Hold on a second here. I got to. He's got to go for, check his. He got to check his batting average log. Oh right my! Here. On March 3rd. Oh my God! I'm a genius. So I think. This is an another lesson in phrasing here. That it, yeah. it is yeah. shocking that he got fired so quickly. But if you would have said fired by, let's say, you know, by you know what it was away. that that in my mind must have been a complete hail mary pass. <laughs> but it came true. But early. It came true. <laughs> it came true. No, that's it. That's. I think this is my worst week. It's my worst week in a long time. My, it is. my it's worst bad. week ever. It's pretty bad. It happens. All right. Uh, hey, old Macadac here said the Twins Macadac. will sweep the Tigers and Joe Ryan will strike out at least eight batters. Those things Sorry. This was a bad beat here. I said Bowling Green would lose to Kent State by at least 12. They lost by seven. Ooh, they're back. Look out. Bowling Green. They, they covered. Yeah. It's unbelievable. However, all right. This is oh, a good yeah. one. I told this you guys time. that Brooks and Bryson would do some kind of of a special golf event together by the end of the calendar year and by golly yesterday they announced it they will be facing each other in tnt's the match and um that was a this was more of a hopeful prediction than anything like nothing had leaked there was no like reports bryson did make some allusion to like you know know what i'm calling bs on the entire feud now you think it was staged yes i think this whole thing is staged so you think Kepka said, all right, you walk behind yes. the camera, I'll yeah. roll my eyes, yes. and then we can have a feud. Yes. And they, hug it and they didn't like each other and... before that. Like, there was some yeah. rumblings, and that, like, I think that was the, we need to take the next step. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think this whole thing is staged. I think we're going to find out they're friends. They should. They seem like they'd be friends, right? Yes. A couple of beefy golfers. Beefy golfers, probably kind of very douchey. Cool. Exactly. I was going to say pretentious. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it's staged, but that does not make your prediction any less impressive. Yeah. A Co- couple beefy, pretentious, douchey golfers just cashing in on the public. That really is a perfect use, I think, right there. Douchey. Like, I think you're right about that. <laughs> Both those dudes are. Yeah. Like, ordinarily, it's, it, it's like that's a tired word. I yeah. think you hit it. They're Yeah, they're pretty douchey. Uh, I said between now and October, now be, meaning like, I don't know, two months ago, and October 1st, the Wolves will not trade for a player that makes more than $10 million a year. Um, actually, Here's hold on Here's where I'm confused. Yeah, did what is, Pat, what is when, Pat did, when was the Pat Beverly? I'm trying yeah. to remember when this prediction was oh, made. Oh, dude. Dude. Pat <laughs> Bev's Booty. cap hit dude, dude, dude. is 14.3. When was this? And I'll listen. I'll admit that I was wrong. I just want to see when the prediction well, was. Yeah, that's, I, I, that's made here. That prediction yeah. says ten dollars. So I mean, sorry, Phil. <laughs> yeah, blame $10. that on the executive producer. I'm literally ten, cutting and pasting $10 from the teleprompter. A year. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's see. Pat the Wolves. Uh, I think you guys are right. I think this was made before uh, Pat Bev. And so okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, Adjusting. Rather than, I'm pretty sure it was. I think you guys are right. So we're going to give this one an incorrect here. All right, go ahead and buzz okay. me. Buzz okay, me. I'll give you. I'll give you a little buzz. Right. Take a hit off the board here. Um, but I did say Rocco Baldelli would not be fired during the season because the Twins front office, according to Jim Pola, did an A plus quote A plus job this season. It. So Rocco, you don't, get you don't know what you're watching, Phil. Yeah. All right, listeners, Dylan said Big E and New Day will be split up in this week's WWE yeah. Superstar Shakeup. They were. Good, good hit. Ryan said the Twins will finish bottom four in the AL standings. They did. They were bottom three. 
And then uh, a little bit of a bloodbath here. Cooper said Alex Colome will have more blown saves than saves. He had 17 saves and seven blown saves. Mm. So, yeah, Cooper. Sorry, buddy. Looks like Colome did pretty crappy still, but not as crappy as you thought he was going to be. Uh, Alex said the Vikings will win the division in, two th- in 2021. I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I took this off in a blind rage, but we can leave it on. I meant to. I meant <laughs> wow, for this dude. to. I meant for this to not come off, but I must have just been going bonkers. Did you black? This. Did you black out? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're not going to win. The, they're not going to win the division, but uh, I did put it on here in a blind rage. Uh, Josh said Trevor May will flame out in New York with the Mets and have an ERA above no. five. He had an ERA under four. Yeah, he was fine. Um, Dylan said Jefferson will catch two or more touchdowns, 100 yards receiving, and the Vikings will win by at least a touchdown over the Browns. Was, yeah. What game is that? Okay. That was last week. Oof. Uh, Gibby said Barrios will have an ERA over four against the AL East. He did not. He was, I think he was under three, actually. And then Nick and Blaine said the Twins will be sellers at the deadline. And they will finish with a bottom five record. They did not have a bottom five major league record. It was like bottom seven or eight. There was a bunch of really bad teams this year in baseball. So close Sorry, on that parlay, but incorrect. And then Declan. <sighs> I think this is a home run for Declan here. This is a bonus prediction. He said Christian Derrissaw will be active for the first time and will play on the and offensive said play. line. Oh, Christian Derrissaw no. had one snap in this game and it was offensive line for a uh for an extra point try is i did not specify offense or especially i just said on the offense he blocked that's on the offensive line is yes. that considered is that officially considered offensive line yes yeah. he's blocking yes it's I, an that's, offensive that's play. i said, I just said on the points. offensive line yeah hmm. yeah i i'm this i'm gonna is... del- i'm gonna delve into this a little bit more wow this is cutthroat this is a yeah. This game's nasty. You saw what happened to me this week. This game's nasty. <laughs> what oh, happened? That's why. Nothing happened to you. You just that's made why. incorrect predictions. Oh, that he no, blocked. No, no, his no. job was blocking, a, and much like on Kirk, the offensive line. I'm a victim. If I said an offensive series, if I had play in the offensive series, that yeah, would have been wrong. I don't know wrong. if it's I don't know if the blocking unit's ever been called really the offensive line unit. Hmm. He's, but it's, his it, job he, was. He, he, He's blocking. I'm going to look. look, look. Offensive, I don't want to debate this. I'm, I'm going to look in, into this. I'm going to vet it thoroughly, and I'll get. No, back but here's it. Okay, would would that point be considered a special teams point? No, it's it's count. It's counted as an offensive point at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. Okay, we'll be. It's doing a home run. Dude. Listen, if Judd, if you want to get a, if you want to get a coalition of listeners together, and which they uh, will find me, they will do that. So yeah. yeah. Let us know in the Score North YouTube comment yeah. section. Do you think we should take this up for review here, or are we going to give yep. Declan the point? I think you should get the point, but yep. it's a community here. I'm Mackie and Judd. Um, oh, and God, then, uh, right. Declan, you said Tanner Morgan would set a, a career high or a season high for passing season yards high. against Purdue over 205. He was under 200. And the Vikings would hold a share of first place by today. Mm. Mm. So these are a little bit off because... <laughs> I got a little ambitious here. Judd's at 374, six home runs. Declan at 363 with five home runs. I'm actually at 333 with three home runs. And the listeners are actually at 282 with six home runs. So there you go. Those are your incorrect and correct predictions for the week. Let's get our guy in here. Reed, Reed is coming in here. We said we we basically woke Reed up and said, "Hey, we need a last minute sub because we had a scheduling conflict." So, Reed, are you prepared mentally and physically for write that down? Uh, I'm gonna take this how I take most of my life. I'm just winging it, man, hoping for the best. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I like it. So, we're gonna go around the room three times. We'll start with Reed, Judd, Declan. Back to me. Let's do this. Go All ahead, Reed. Right, after that uh, Wolves preseason game, I got to start drinking their Kool-Aid because the Vikings aren't living up to it. <laughs> so I'm going to say that the Timberwolves in this season will finish within 10 games of 500. So either within 10 games above or 10 games below, they will fin- finish within 10 games of 500 on either side. Okay. I love it. Okay. If they just if they go bonkers like the Suns and win like 60 games, we have to buzz you on this. And I think that, that's, that's perfectly fine. I, that is a buzz <laughs> I will happily take. <laughs> All right, uh, Judd Zolgad, your first Spike. prediction. Anthony Edwards will go for 30 or more points and lead the Wolves in scoring in their opener on October 20th against the Rockets. Look at you drinking some Wolves. Ant too. Edwards. Love it, man. Oh, I'm all in on Ant. 
So 30 or more points and, and lead the team in points? Yep, yep. He'll lead okay. the team, excuse me, 30 or more points and lead the Wolves in scoring in their opener. Seems like an unnecessary second clause that could cost you, but that's the game here. Write that down. Okay. Cat right. goes for 37. Yeah. Yeah. Ant, go, Ant goes for 36. You know what? No, I'm going for I'm I'm swinging away. I'm swinging for my heels. That's how <laughs> it's right, worth. Okay. Yeah. Swinging away. Okay, Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, Joaquin. Uh, right, I also have a Timberwolves uh, prediction. I will also be drinking this Wolves Kool-Aid a little bit. Write it down. You like writing things down. The Wolves will hit the over of their 34 and a half wins by DraftKings. So as of today, DraftKings has them at 34 and a half. I'm going to say the Wolves will hit over. So they'll have more than 35 wins. They'll have 35 wins or more this season. So I'll write that down. The Wolves will hit the over of their 34 and a half wins. I think it's a, smart, it's a smart move for you to get in on the 34 there too because uh, that might go up after my next prediction. Write this down. The Wolves will go undefeated in the preseason. That's right. Oh, good God. The Wolves will go undefeated in the preseason. They have three scheduled games remaining. Friday night against the Denver Nuggets. They got the Clippers on October 11th and the Brooklyn Nets at Barclays Center, which means no Kyrie. If they're playing is one at of you uh, at Terminal Two right now at a, at a local airport, or is that? I think that's Judd. That's me. There, there is okay. some, someone who's decided to do some crap outside. Got it. I, I, I'll is it is it your lawn? Is are there, are no, there... no, 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 no. It's across the it's across the way here. This person moved out, and now everyone <laughs> who moves in here like redoes their house and crap, and it's just annoying. It's like just whatever happened to moving into a house and accepting what the house looked like. It just accept the dead now bodies in the basement, like, right? Now everybody rips everything out. They do new hardwood floors. They take out carpeting. It's like you don't have to remodel the house. If you want a new house, <laughs> buy a damn new house way out in the suburbs, not by me. Anyway, oh, sorry. It. That's okay. All right. No, it's okay. We'll go back all, right. all right. Read your second prediction. No, all right. My second prediction is that Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen will combine for at least 20 touchdowns this season. Ooh. Okay. 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 I like all that. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're already off to a pretty decent start there. Probably have to pick up the pace a little bit. I was debating between 20 and 25, and I think I'm going to go on the weaker end of it, going with just 20. Yeah, after watching that game last <laughs> week, it's like, oh, it's – Let's pump the brakes a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Judd, your second prediction. Um, Kirill Kaprizov <laughs> will score. I, I had to unmute myself. This show myself. is just devolving. I had to right unmute now. myself. We're in four different jokers. locations right now. I should right go now. outside and say, number one, do you know who I am? And number two, would you quit with the noise? And number three, would, would you like a Surly, perhaps? Um. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I will. I will. If you will quit with that damn thing going on outside, I will give you a six pack of Surly. Actually, you know what? If you want, I got some PXG clubs from PXG Minneapolis. Oh, if you'll shut, shut the chainsaw up, you know, that'll shut the guy it, up. PXG is a paradise for fall golfers in the Twin Cities. You can find some of the best clubs, some of the best apparel on the market, and you can stop making noise outside Judd's window while he's trying to do an award-winning radio show, podcast, and YouTube show right now. PXG Minneapolis. Go check them out, Southdale Center, and pxg.com slash Minneapolis. Now move away from Judd's window. Yeah, exactly right. Get the hell away from me. All right, uh, prediction number two, Kirill Kaprizov will score two or more goals in the wild opener against the Ducks. Interesting. So he will have two or more goals against the not-so-good Anaheim Ducks in a game that you can only see on ESPN Plus and Hulu. Which is good. It's good for you, yeah. It's good for everyone. There's only... Certain amount of games Not on the for me. broadcast. I, I got I specifically baby. didn't watch the logo. I love this plan. I think it's the best thing the NHL's ever done. And they're got, kind of dumb. Also, so, yeah, one so of the I'm one of the methods that Declan was using last year, I know, is no longer a viable method for oh, watching really? games. Yeah, they stopped. Yes. They stopped. Uh, I don't know if if the leagues the leagues found out about this method or what Correct. have you, but it's definitely not an option anymore. I had to All pivot. Right. I had to pivot. But yeah. It's fine. Yeah. All right, Dex, your second prediction. Uh, I'll go with a wild prediction as well. I will say Matthew Boldy will dress in the wild season opener against the Ducks. So the wild are basically, they're down to like four players vying for one more roster spot. Boldy being one of them. I think it's more likely than not, off the record by the way, that Marco Rossi isn't making this team. It looks like he's probably going to start in Iowa. Uh, But I'm going to say Boldy grabs the last of these forward spots and he will dress in the wild season opener against the Ducks. Write that down. All right. Okay. Um, All right, write this down. Last night, 
the Red Sox tallied their 41st postseason game victory since 2004. Over that same stretch, the Minnesota Twins have zero, zero playoff wins. And by the way, it's not like like the Mariners also have zero, but they haven't been to the playoffs in like 20 years, right? The Twins have been to the playoffs. Let's see here. 04, so let's see. 06, 9, 10, and then again in like 15 or something. And then like they've been to the playoffs like six times since 2004, and they're 0 for 18, the longest postseason losing streak in North American team sports history. Write this down. The Red Sox will get to 50 postseason wins since 2004 before the Twins get to one. It could happen this year if they get to the World. I think they'd have to get to the World Series and win at least a couple games, uh, or it extends into next year. But the Red Sox will get to 50 postseason wins since 2004 before the Twins get to one. Write it down. Okay. Think about that. But that, the front office, according thought. to Jim Polad, has done an, a, quote, A-plus job this season. I've, I've thought about a it. A-plus job. What a job. Do you, do you think Derek and Thad are going to be up for front office of the year? Because well, I think, I think it's be, close. Right? It's, it's pretty close. Maybe. I mean, if they hadn't done what they did, this the Giants team would have been really bad. Was, The Giants front office no. was pretty good. Red Sox. But yeah. I feel like they left a couple games on the table. I think the Twins really maximized everything. Yeah. When you when you keep Jake Cave on your roster for an entire season and get the production that they did from that team player, you are doing something right. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Write this down. All right, Reed, your third and final prediction. All right, so just to keep the bouncing of sports consistent over here, I'm going to go back to the Wild. I'm going to say that the Wild will win the division and make it past the first round of playoffs. Whoa! There we go. Let's get it. Yeah. The winning the, winning the division is the hardest part of that prediction, right? Because, like, yes. mm-hmm. you can upset oh, yeah. someone. So that'll be, yeah, that'll be a tough one. Well, thanks for stepping in here, Reed. Since you've got this platform again, is there anyone else in your life you'd like to thank that brought you to this peak moment? Oh, uh, I mean, shout out to my parents, you know, got to appreciate them bringing me into this world, even though it was as a Minnesota sports fan. Um, love them dearly. Always will. Thank you guys. You know, appreciate this morning helping me kill an hour when I was really sure what I was going to have going on. And yeah, I mean, thank you guys for coming out with the content. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You guys always come out with great stuff and the daily posts. They're awesome. It keeps me entertained, keeps me doing stuff. So thank you guys. Cool, shout man. out to your boss too, Reed. Yeah. And shout out to your boss for for letting you come on here, basically. Yeah, I appreciate it, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thanks, that's man. that's Reed, guest listener, predictor, taking his swings here on Write That Down. All right, one more lap, Judd Zilgad. FYI, the noise is getting closer, so now I'm just getting really upset. Like, <laughs> I, didn't buy, awesome. I didn't buy this house to have some joker next door decide that they're going to shave off the top of the house while I'm trying to do a podcast. Okay? Also, is this going to be like a two-month project now or I'm every single go, day? When I get done with this prediction, I'm going to go look out uh, my window right here and see what the hell they're doing. It literally sounds like they're sawing into the house. Like... It's just ridiculous. Oh, it's hilarious. Patrick Beverly will be assessed 10 or more technical fouls this season. <laughs> Patrick Beverly, who already dropped an F-bomb in a quote, which was fantastic. Yep. He's great, dude. He's perfect. He's going to be, he is it's going to be, fan. he is truly, because you know what he is? He, he He's not nearly as talented as Butler, but he's got the edge. But I feel like he's got it. I feel like I, I might be wrong here in a more positive way. Like he's going to embolden his teammates, which will be fun to see, not cut them down. He'll be assessed 10 or more techs this season. Write it down. Isn't that worth a suspension? Like, don't you, once you get to a certain amount of techs, you get suspended. I think it's 14. I want to say. Okay. He's suspended for the first game this season. He can't because he he shoved Chris Paul in the back out of spite. And it was, there was no reason for it. Like, he got beat by Chris Paul in a playoff game. And he was such, such a poor sport that he shoves him from behind. And you know what? I hate it. I hated him in that moment. But you're here for it. And if he was I'm playing for, for any it, other baby. team, I would probably hate him. But because he's a Timberwolf, <clears throat> he's my new favorite player. I and love you know it. what? AJ That's the type of thing you really enjoy on your team. <laughs> it is. Yes. He also like I think he was trashing the Pelicans. He was like, yeah, we put up sixty points or forty points in the second quarter on those guys. You know, you know, we don't turn it off. Like it was just this amazing like peacocking, chest thumping quote about the first preseason game in the Good second quarter. I love it. <laughs> it is pretty good right now. All right, Dex, your final prediction. All right, my final prediction. Uh, baseball playoff one. It's nice watching uh, teams win playoff games and enjoying fun things in the playoffs. So I'll go with a baseball playoff one here. 
The White Sox will beat the Astros in their ALDS series. So I'm going to go with the White Sox will okay. beat the Astros in their ALDS series. They're on the road for that. So I don't know if this is a home run. No, it's baseball. I don't, it's, it, but it's a solid hit. Um, and I would like to see the Sox win. Uh, I kind of like the Sox, and the Astros are still the Astros to me. I, I still boo them. So White Sox will beat the Astros in the ALDS. Okay. Right there. All right. Down. I'm going to make it. I want one to come off the board here for tonight. So I'm going to say, write this down. I'm trying to think of how much I want to put into this. I'd like I'd like to swing for a home run here. So I think the Cardinals, the Cardinals and the Dodgers are playing each other tonight. And there's like a 17 or a 16 win difference between the two teams. Mm-hmm. So the Dodgers are actually a uh, a minus 230, two and a half to one favorite in this game. So the Cardinals will win this game. Adam Wainwright, huh? Yep. The Cardinals will win this game. And I want you guys to maybe help me quantify this. Okay. There's going to be rumblings or complaints from the Dodgers side or media that the wild card, the wild card format is flawed. That, that started uh, already, so ab- absolutely. Yep. Okay. So there's going to be like an article written oh, of yeah. some kind oh, yeah. saying after the Dodgers lose from a prominent media platform that the wild card format is flawed precisely because of what happened to the Dodgers. Like, yes. well, well, we beat that team by 15 games in the regular season. Why are we playing a coin flip? You know? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and they will call for somebody's going to call for seedings of playoff teams. Yeah. I guarantee that's off the record, but something like that. And I will yeah. say this will all happen bef- before next week's write that down. We, so, don't have to, we don't have to wait all off season. So your for swing article. is what? Th- that the Dodgers will lose. The, to the Dodgers Cardinals? will lose to the okay. Cardinals. All right. And that sometime in the next week, a prominent media platform okay. will feature an article complaining f- about the wild card format. Gotcha. All right. So there it is. Those are the write that down predictions for the week here on Mackie and Judd. Judd just having pounding construction outside his door. I got room. Ser- I got room service or cleaning knocking on my hotel room door over out. here. It's ridiculous. We're just trying. Idiots. <laughs> We gotta go. Oh my god! All right. As Bob Casey once said, "Quit this now! Now quit this! Now this quit is a, this! This is a championship, championship podcast. podcast! This is a championship podcast! This is a Marconi finalist podcast! <laughs> That's our other show, actually. Uh, you'll actually be able to use that line when we start recording Purple Daily. You can just open the window and say, "We are Marconi finalists. Yeah. We are MFers." Okay. Yeah. Here's some surly and. Put that saw down. All right. That's a wrap on Mackie and Judd. Reckless Speculation Thursday tomorrow with our friend Darren Doogie Wolfson. And uh, don't forget Vikings Vent Line after every Vikings game. Win or lose, therapy or celebration, we got you covered. It's the most fan-friendly, interactive show in Minnesota sports every Sunday on the Purple Daily YouTube channel. See you guys.